Welcome to church. I am always happy to have you here. How have you been? Well, in today's class, we are going to hear about how Jesus proved to his disciples that he is alive. It's such a wonderful story. Before we start the story, let's pray and then we will talk about what we are learning. Dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you that we are here again to learn about you. Thank you for all that we have been learning in the past few weeks about how you went to the cross and how you rose from the dead. Today, as we learn about how you showed your disciples that you are alive, help us to understand and help us to truly believe that you are alive. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, so before I tell you the story, I have a quick game, okay? I'm going to show you two items on the screen. One item is dead and the other one is alive. So if you think it is dead, you have to shout, dead, 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 dead. And if you think it is alive, you have to shout, alive, 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 alive. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So our first item is the beetle. You can see two beetles on the screen. So there is one beetle here that is upside down and is not looking very beautiful. And then there is this second one that looks very beautiful in red and black and it looks like it's walking. What do you think? Is this one lying down dead or alive? Dead, 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 dead. Yes, you're correct. So that means that this beautiful one here walking is alive, 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 alive. Well done. Okay. Our second item is two trees. Can you see the two trees? One is looking ugly and the leaves are on the floor. But well, this other one looks very beautiful and it's got beautiful leaves. Which one is that? So let's start with this one, the green one. Alive, 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 alive. Good. So obviously this one that is looking ugly with the leaves on the floor is dead, 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 dead. Okay. I have two more pictures. Okay. Let's look at the next picture on the screen. So we have this thing. It looks like a tree too, but it's very small and it's touching the floor. It looks, it looks hungry and tired. Well, then we have this other beautiful sunflower looking beautiful and colorful. Which one is dead? This one? Yes. Yeah, so let's shout. Dead, 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 dead. 
and alive, 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 alive. Well done. Final picture. We have two pictures on the screen now. We have a picture of a rock, a big rock. It looks like a tomb. Hmm. It reminds me of somebody that was put in the tomb. Do you remember who was put in the tomb in our story like two weeks ago? Jesus, yes. And that's actually the second picture. That is a picture of Jesus. So which one is dead? Jesus or the rock? The rock, right? Yes, so let's shout. Dead, 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 dead. And of course, Jesus is alive, 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 alive. Well done. That was so much fun. So in today's story, Jesus' disciples, they couldn't believe that Jesus was alive. You know, they everything around showed them that Jesus was dead. They were at the cross. They saw him there when they killed him. They were at the tomb. They saw him when he was placed there. He wasn't breathing. He wasn't walking like the pictures that we saw. So, of course, Jesus was dead, but Jesus showed them that he is alive. Let's watch today's Bible story video together, and we will be back to talk about it. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan, and this is Jesse. Hi, Megan. Someone special came to our house last night. Can you guess who it was? Um... Your grandma? Nope. Uh, your grandpa? Nope. Your aunt? Nope. Your uncle? Nope. Your cousin? Nope. Why don't I just tell you? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. We might be here all day if I just keep guessing. My teacher at church. Oh, how fun, Jessie. Yeah, I left my Bible at church last week and she brought it to our house. We didn't know she was coming. How kind. In today's Bible story, Jesus' disciples had an unexpected visitor who was also very special. Listen to the story. On the first day of the week in the evening, Jesus' disciples met together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid. They didn't want to be killed, too. But now some of the disciples were saying they had seen Jesus alive. Could it be true? As the disciples talked, Jesus came and stood right there with them. Peace to you, he said. Jesus' disciples were afraid. Maybe they were seeing a ghost. Look at me, Jesus said. Touch me. A ghost does not have skin and bones, but I do. Jesus showed them his hands and his side. They saw where Jesus had been hurt. Jesus was alive. What good news! The disciples were so happy. Jesus' disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. Then Jesus told them that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. Jesus' disciples needed to tell other people to turn away from sin and be forgiven. Jesus said, God sent me to earth. Now I am sending you. One of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, was not with the other disciples when Jesus visited them. Thomas did not believe that they saw him. I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe, Thomas said. Eight days later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in and stood with him. Peace to you, Jesus said. Then Jesus told Thomas, touch the marks on my hands and my side. I am alive, believe it. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, you believed because you saw me. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. 
God made Jesus alive again. Jesus visited many people so they would know He is alive. Jesus is still alive today. We have not seen Jesus, but if we believe in Him, we will be blessed. He wants us to tell others the good news about Him. Welcome back, friends. I hope you were listening. And when you saw Jesus, did you shout, alive, 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 alive? I hope you did. So every time I say Jesus in today's story, I want you to shout, alive, 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 alive. Okay? All right. So let's talk about what you heard. The disciples met together, met together in a house. They were all very scared. Do you, do you, do you get scared sometimes? Yes, I get scared sometimes. And I'm like, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. You know, they were very scared. They didn't want anybody to come to the house. They didn't want anybody to come and talk to them because they were afraid. They felt that somebody was just going to come and kill them like they did to Jesus. And while they were there, Jesus came and stood right there with them and said, peace to you. Did you shout alive, alive, alive when I said Jesus? Don't forget to, okay? And the disciples were like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure they, were, they all ran to one side. You know, like, and they said, we think it's a ghost, right? It looks like Jesus, but he's dead. And Jesus said, alive, alive, alive. Don't forget to say alive, alive. And so Jesus told them, I said, I'm alive. I'm here. Come, come and touch my hands. Come and touch my feet. A ghost does not have a skin and a ghost does not have bones, but I do. And they were like, what? So they actually went ahead to touch him and they found out that, no, 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 no. This is Jesus. He is alive. Can we say it together? This is Jesus. He is alive. They were so excited. They were happy to see that Jesus, their friend, that they've been going around different cities, is truly alive. And so Jesus spoke to them. Jesus explained the Bible to them. Do you know what a Bible is? Yes. The book that we read that tells us all about Jesus. Yes. Jesus told them that the Bible is all about him. And Jesus wanted them to do something. Jesus told them, God sent me to the world so that I could come and save you and you, yes, you and me. Now I want to send you to other people. I want you to go and talk to people about how much I love them and how I died on the cross to save their sins. And tell them also that I am alive. Okay, so Jesus told them that. And you're going to hear more about that next week. But there was one disciple who wasn't there when Jesus came to see the disciples. His name was Thomas. And so when Thomas came back and the disciples told him, we saw Jesus, Thomas was like, nope, Jesus is dead. Is that true? No, Jesus is what? Alive, 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 alive. Yes. And so one week after that, Jesus appeared again to his disciples. And this time, guess who was there? Thomas, yes. Thomas was there. And Jesus told him, Thomas, come, touch my hands, touch my side so that you can believe that I am alive. And Thomas was like, oh, my Lord and my God were well, like, oh, I'm so excited to see you. And Jesus said, blessed are those who, even though they haven't seen me, they believe that I am alive. Do you know who those people are? Yes, it's you and me. Have you ever seen Jesus before? No, I haven't seen Jesus before, but I believe that Jesus is alive. Why do I believe that Jesus is alive? Because the Bible tells me so. Yes, I believe the Bible. The Bible is God's word to you and to me. And so even though I have never seen Jesus before, the Bible tells me that he is alive. And the Bible tells us that when we put our hope and our faith, when we believe in Jesus, he gives us eternal life. That is amazing. Now, I'm going to teach you a song. And this song 
helps us to remember what we learned today. Okay, now this is I will sing it first and then you can sing it after me. Okay, so let's let me teach you. Jesus showed his friends, is alive, is alive, is alive. Jesus showed his friends, is alive, is alive in heaven. Let's see together. Jesus showed his friends, is alive, is alive, is alive. Jesus showed his friends, is alive. Is alive in heaven. Let's sing it one last time. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, let's go. Jesus showed his friends, is alive, is alive, is alive. Jesus showed his friends, is alive, is alive in heaven. Awesome. So sing that song every time you want to remember our Bible story today. Sing it for mommy, sing it for daddy, okay? And that reminds us of our memory verse from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. John 11, verse 25. And Jesus, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Thank you for listening to today's Bible story. Let's pray before we go. Dear Jesus, thank you. We're so glad that you came back to life after you died on the cross for our sins. Thank you because you died and you rose again. We have eternal life. We ask that you'd help us to believe like the other disciples did. Help us to believe that you're alive. Help us to believe that you love us and help us to believe in you, to put our trust in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.